One of a very common problem in Power BI while working with a matrix or a table visual is that how do you maneuver through the totals row in that visual? In this video, I'll talk about a couple of interesting approaches to get to the totals row, a couple of nuances, a couple of gotchas, and we shall have fun. No further ado, you and I, let's go. All right, in Power BI and working with a very simple table visual here, in fact, a matrix visual, we have three, four simple columns. We have the year and the month as two dimensions here coming from the calendar table. And we have two measures, total sales and sales YTD that I have calculated. No problems with this. This is working just all fine. You can see that the total here is all good. The total here is all good. But if I take a look at the total at the grand total level, I do not really want to take a look at YTD at the grand total level because it doesn't make any sense. Now, if you have been working enough with Power BI, I'm sure you understand that all the visuals in Power BI work based on filter context. And if I want to uh, maneuver that total or get to that total and maybe modify that, I need to identify the filter context there and then start to work only with that particular filter context. There happens to be a function in Power BI, which is called has one value, which lets you identify that at what level are you working with? Let's try to explore that for a real quick second. So if I just go over and take a look at this measure that I have written, this is has one value check. And I'm just saying that please take a look at the calendar year column and see that if that particular column has got one unique value or multiple unique values. Let me help you understand once I drag this function onto my uh, table right here. So if you take a look at this right here, you can see that uh, at the month level, of course, you have one unique value because you're taking a look at 2011. For all of these, you have one unique value. In fact, for the total as well, you're working with the filter context, which is 2011. So again, one unique value. And if you just get to the total of 2012 again, this is all for 2012. So again, one unique value. But as soon as you get to the grand total level, there is no filter context and you're taking a look at the entire data. And because we have two years worth of data, and as soon as the has one value checks the year column of the calendar table, it is not left with one value. It's actually left with two values. Now, if you haven't really checked out my video on has one value, I suggest that you take a look at that. But for now, what we have been able to do with the has one value function is that we have been able to identify that I be working at the year level or are we working at the grand total level? And as soon as we are able to identify that, we can build that as a check in another calculation and we can remove the grand totals from there. So what I have done is I have been able to create this another measure, which is just like a check, which is where we are checking. If the year has got one value, that means you're working under the context of the year, only then show me the YTD. As soon as you reach the total level right here, which is where you don't have one unique year, then don't show me the YTD. Now, if I happen to drag that into my visual, this is all good. And you can take a look that the uh, grand total is completely gone. Okay, there happens to be a catch with this approach. Let's just apply a filter on the year and take a look that does our solution break or still stand good. If I just go over to the year here and apply a filter for 2012, now 2012 being a filter that is going to be applied to the entire matrix visual is not going to be left with one unique value. If you take a look at the grand total level, now you don't really have one unique value in the calendar year column. And because you don't have one unique value, you still get to see the grand total YTT Although it's technically correct because you have applied a filter, but the user would not have a great experience taking a look at the grand total. So I still want to get rid of the grand total here because two totals doesn't really make any sort of sense. How do we do that? Now, to be able to solve this now, we have to come up with a different approach rather than just taking a look at unique values. And that is going to be done by another function, which is in scope. Okay, this time to be able to identify the grand totals row, I'm going to be using the in scope function. And once I use that, I'll explain you how does that function work. So I've already written that function, something like an in scope check. It's pretty much similar to what we have written in the past, which is nothing but has one value. The only thing is that this time I have written the in scope, same syntax, uh, in scope of the calendar year column. Now, as soon as you drag this function to the visual right here, you can take a look that the difference between the has one value, which just gives you true for 
everything and therefore you get the grand total but the in scope function doesn't give you a true for the grand total it actually gives you a false now what is going on in the in scope function the in scope function is trying to test that is the data summarized by the calendar year or not if that is summarized by the calendar year then it returns you a true if that is not summarized by the calendar year then it gives you a false and you can take a look that pretty much in all of these rows right here, you do have the filter context as year equals 2012. And as soon as the filter context gets changed to the grand total, at this place, you are not anymore summarizing the data by the year and therefore you get a false. Now you can take a look at the query that is being generated by the DAX here and we can also go a step deeper and take a look at what's going on under the hood. So if I just maybe copy this particular table right here, and on this table, I just get rid of all of the junk calculations and I just stay with the in scope calculation and the other calculations that we have. And I run the performance analyzer. So view tab, performance analyzer, start recording, clear the visuals, refresh the visuals. Here is our matrix. I'm just going to copy and I'm going to open up DAX Studio and paste my query over there. All right, I'm in DAX Studio and I have just pasted the query over here and I'm just going to click on run. If you don't understand what a query is, in simple terms, it's a simple table that renders the visual that you have asked for. So in the visual, I asked for a couple of calculations. I asked for sales, sales vitality and the in scope check to be able to deliver you that particular visual. The DAX engine sends a query to the data. It creates a query and then that query gets um, you know, transferred back to the visual. So this is that particular query. Now, if you currently take a look at this particular query, you can see that we have the query has used the summarize columns function. And within that, it is actually summarizing by the year. Now, as soon as this year summarization gets over, so you can take a look at this particular column is, is grand total row. And this is nothing but this column. This column, it says that, is this a grand total row? Is this a grand total row? It keeps on checking that have you reached the grand total row or not? And as soon as you do reach the grand total row, it actually shows you a true. And this is where the data is not anymore summarized by the calendar year and therefore you get a false right here in the in scope function so the in scope function is a different function as compared to the has one value function takes a look at whether you are summarizing the data by the column present in the matrix visual or not and now that we have the in scope function what we can do is just get rid of that we can come back stop it close it we can come back and we can write another calculation something like a sales vitality in scope and we can see that hey take a look that is the year in scope or not if the year is in scope then you can just do your calculation if the year is not in scope which is at the grand total level then please do not do any vitality now if i happen to drag this calculation onto my visual you can see that i still don't get to see any grand total now this is going to be true whether you unfilter the data or not so even if i just happen to remove the filter and get all the data for all the years the year is still not in scope right here and you can take a look that we have a false year and therefore we don't get to see the grand total awesome all right that's been it let me know how did you find this one we were trying to catch the totals row and trying to modify the calculation as per our need and if you have any questions around this feel free to drop in a comment and i will be glad to reply in the end, a big shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses in case you are a beginner in Power BI and you'd like to master the fundamentals of DAX, data modeling and Power Query to a level where you start solving more sophisticated problems, more advanced problems, even from your own data. I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. These are going to be super awesome. Thanks so much for sticking around all this while and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers and bye.